Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Certainly a beautiful day out there. We have some pretty mild temperatures and lots of sunshine across the board. I uh, saw a point made on social media that I thought was really interesting. Imagine living 100 years ago and just enjoying this beautiful early spring weather, not knowing that a blizzard, a raging strong blizzard is on the way in about 24 hours. Pretty crazy to think about, but that's precisely what we have here. Blizzard warnings are now in effect for southwest and south central North Dakota. Winter storm watch is still for the counties north of that and looking at the almanac. Yeah, it was a warm day. We got up to 39 degrees today in Bismarck, and this is the first day I think since maybe the first day of February that we were above our average high. How about that? Your record high 75 set back in 2007. The temperature is still very nice out there. Look at Minot. Congratulations. You made it to 40 degrees. The rest of us still in the upper 30s. Looking at your winds, and they are out of the west right now from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. These will become a big story, no doubt about it. Now, satellite radar, look at this. Just a lot of clear sky across the state. Beautiful stuff. A few clouds up towards the north, but our attention turns towards the southwest, and we have a growing system here uh, centered over the Four Corners region right now. A lot of action down here in the desert southwest. In fact, the funnel cloud uh, out towards Arizona. Don't see all that. Or don't see that too often. It is because of this growing storm system emerging now out of the southwest. Let's go ahead and roll precision cast. And this low will be developing out of Colorado over the next few hours into early tomorrow morning. We have severe weather out towards the east there in the Texas Panhandle. We have very heavy rain to the east side of it, and we have a developing blizzard on the back side of this system. Now, not only is this system going to deepen and strengthen, it's going to uh, what meteorologists refer to as bomb out. Essentially, the, the pressure will drop 24 millibars within 24 hours. And that you don't see overland too much either. Uh, the snow will begin to arrive in North Dakota in our viewing area by just a few hours afternoon tomorrow. And we'll be looking at the snow pushing through the central, south central, and southwestern part of our state through the afternoon and evening. And the winds will increase dramatically tomorrow evening in towards Thursday morning. Now, eventually the snow will pull away by Thursday afternoon, but not before leaving a lot in its wake. There you go. There are the snowfall accumulations. We'll repo Post this here on social media, uh, but you can see highest amounts will be to the south and east of Bismarck, a uh, track very similar to last weekend's storm system. And the winds are going to be even stronger with this one. If you don't uh, bring in your trash can, it will be down the street. We're going to be looking at wind gusts up to 55, maybe 60 miles per hour late tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. Looking at your uh, three-day forecast for Dickinson. Dickinson, you will see a little bit of snow developing tomorrow night. Uh, it'll get quite windy as well for you Wednesday morning out towards Williston. For you, we'll be looking at, uh, well, some pretty benign conditions. Outside chance for snow, but here is where we'll see the least impact of the system. Temperatures in the teens tomorrow morning, and we will be looking at temperatures rebounding nicely as uh, the system arrives and the clouds move in. Highs in the 20s and 30s. There is your seven-day forecast. Now, we'll be looking at temperatures remaining quite mild. Highs there in the mid-30s. It'll be windy up towards Minot, but again, maybe just a few inches of snow at the most as we go in towards Thursday. Your seven day forecast for Bismarck. We're going to be looking at temperatures again in the 30s. That wind will pick up tomorrow afternoon along with the snow, and then we'll be looking at exceptionally windy conditions, guys, as we go on in towards Thursday. The good news is once we get through this system and all its associated impacts, uh, things look to quiet down very quickly by the end of the week. And in fact, this weekend, we're going to be looking at temperatures back into the upper 30s with plenty of sunshine. So the weekend is something to look forward to, guys, but not before we get through this dangerous system that's developing now and will mm -hmm. impact us in the next 24 hours or so. Yeah, okay. at least you gave us something to look forward to. Exactly. Don't go anywhere. Sports is next.